ex-head of state speaks on connection to terror groups indigenous people of biafra yoruba groups plan to attack lagos i have no links with terror groups general abdul salami reacts to the media report a former head of state general abdul salami a abubaka retired has denied having any link with armed bandits and any other terrorist group in niger state describing reports linking him with their activities as false unfounded and fake news according to a statement by abdul salami abubaka and mina signed by his media aide dr yakubu suleiman alleged that some selected online media had linked him to a purported arrested helicopter supplying food and weapons to bandits in parts of the state the general in the statement disassociated, disassociated himself from such a heinous crime that is unbecoming of any patriotic citizens stressing that ordinarily he would have ignored such superiors uh, such sub, uh, spurious rather reports but as to set the record straight this kind of fake news has the potential of aggravate, aggravating the record already tense security situation in the country and should not be condoned, he said. He, however, expressed regret how individuals could peddle such news and smear the image and character of people, adding that I urge Nigerians to ignore such treacherous acts and to be careful with the kind of information they dish out and share on social media or any platform. He also urged Nigerians to continue to work and pray for enduring peace in Nigeria, saying that no nation could attain greatness without peace and security of lives and property. Hmm. Uh, to continue the news, it says uh, police confirmed threats to Lagos by indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba groups. Well, according to Abu Salami, Abu Bakr said they shouldn't link him with any terror, terrorist or any terror group, be it uh, bandits uh, or Boko Haram or whichever name you want to mention and kidnappers. According to the report, says maybe he, there was an helicopter supplying food to bandits or Boko Haram, you know, in Niger State, uh, which is not of him. The police in Lagos to continue reading from what the police confirmed straight to Lagos by Apop and Yoruba groups. The police in Lagos says the command is investigating threats by the indigenous people of Biafra, Apop and Yoruba separatist group. Commissioner of Police Akim Odumosu vowed that no breakdown of law and order or attacks on soft targets will be tolerated. Odumosu spoke at the stock Holders Forum on Security in Lagos, which Governor Babajide Sonwolu presided over. The Commissioner of Police said the command was aware of agitation for the Odua Republic by some Yoruba secessionists and the threats to disrupt law and order in Lagos. The police chief disclosed that 24 persons belonging to the groups have been identified and are being closely monitored. The threat of indigenous people of Biafra to attack soft targets in Lagos is equally being put on the radar of the command intelligence gathering hmm. and other security uh, services in the state, assuring that strategies are being put in place to neutralize criminality. Udumusu appealed to the residents to be vigilant and report suspicious moves or movements to security agencies. Wow, well, <laughs> uh, well, I don't believe the indigenous people of Biafra and the Yoruba or the Odua People's Congress are for war or dispute. They are trying to, you know, protest and propagate the gospel of, you know, division or secession because the government of today does not really, you know, care about what is, what is happening to the people of the country especially in the area of insecurity and you know being nepotistic about the Nigerian governance and what have been happening from the constitution uh, rebrand since 1999 to date because the constitution of Nigeria seems to be favoring only the elites but not favoring the citizens and the issue of insecurity you know that is why Sunday Igbo came out and started agitating for 
one uh, Yoruba relig- uh, republic and he agitating against one Nigeria because the Fulani people have invaded all the old regions of the southwest and they are, you know, constituting uh, uh, a nuisance. And not only being nuisance, but they are killing the Yoruba people, you know, through the Ed's men. They will, you know, venture into people's farm and start destroying their uh, farm produce through their cow. And likewise, indigenous people of Biafra also are even tired of Nigeria. Biafra has been agitating for a longer time before now because the CEO uh, or the founder of uh, indigenous people of Biafra and the ESN, Instant Security Network, Namde Kanum, has been agitating for a longer while before now because he does not believe in APC administration. He has been saying it from onset and people did not believe him until now that everybody is trying to see what is really happening now. From the comment session, I will be going through the comment session, you know, from Abdul Salami Abubakar to down to the Yoruba agitators and the Igbo extraction. They are now trying to turn Fulani attack on indigenous Nigerians to be indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba groups, idiots. The whole world knows that the Fulanis are the evil killers and terrorists in Nigeria. IPOB, which is indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba, are victims of Fulani domination agenda and terrorism, not the other way around. Wicked fools. It is Fulani that want to attack Lagos, but the Fulani government wants it to look like it is the indigenous people of Biafra that is trying to you know, invade Lagos and also Sunday Igbo, if at all. But I believe Sunday Igbo has been agitating for the Odudua uh, Republic, you know, they were in Ibadan or Shun, you know, protesting. I don't believe they want to come to Lagos to come and protest. Even if they come to Lagos to protest, it will be a peaceful protest. They are not the criminal ones. The indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba people can never attack Lagos or any place in Nigeria. Nigeria is in the full grip of wicked men and they are determined that all of us must be Muslim or killed. Well, it all can be possible. But Oga Abdul Salami Abu Bakr, there is no fire without smoke, sir. Please, sir, Nigerians need more of your explanation on this issue. It is a serious matter not to be swept under the carpet. Well, I concur with you. He has not made any reasonable explanation. His heli- why his helicopter was connected to the issue. Okay. Somebody is saying Abdul Salami owns the head, uh, helicopter. That is being used to supply either food or whatever they are supplying. Abdul Salami is the brain behind the menace in Nigeria. Now, is he not the person that wrote the 1999 constitution that sold Nigerians and their passport to Fulani logo of Islamization and Fulanization? Who is deceiving who? They never believe the resistance they have met. Well, he is a fool. Well, this is where I'm going to stop for now. I would like you to share your comments over this issue. Let us know what you feel about the Abu Salami uh, saga and the IPOP, indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba coming together to come and invade Lagos and they need to be watched over. But I believe indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba people are not for war, but they are trying to agitate for a revolution or secession. Well, may God bless Nigeria. 